Treat Williams' daughter is grieving out loud. Ellie Williams mourned the actor's sudden death in an emotional Instagram tribute this week, days after he died in a motorcycle accident at age 71. This is a pain I have never felt. I am absolutely shattered, she wrote over a throwback photo of her famous dad, adding, thank you to everyone who has sent messages and kept our family in your hearts during this terrible heartbreak. Treat passed away after an SUV collided with his motorcycle near his Vermont home on June 12. In a statement to Access Hollywood, the Williams family confirmed the tragedy and reflected on the legacy Treat leaves behind, saying in part, As you can imagine, we are shocked and greatly bereaved at this time. Treat was full of love for his family, for his life, and for his craft, and was truly at the top of his game in all of it. It is also shocking right now, but please know that Treat was dearly and deeply loved and respected by his family and everyone who knew him. We are beyond devastated and ask that you respect our privacy as we deal with our grief. To all his fans, please know that Treat appreciated all of you and please continue to keep him in your hearts and prayers. In addition to Ellie, the Everwood alum is survived by wife Pam Van Sant and son Gil Williams. He and 24-year-old Ellie seem to have a close and loving relationship with the pair hitting up the wizarding world of Harry Potter at Universal Studios Hollywood together back in April. Just one week before his fatal crash, Treat shared a photo of Ellie alongside the caption, I miss you, daughter. Following the sad news of Treat's loss, Access Hollywood looked back at our past interviews with the beloved TV and film star and his most memorable roles. How much fun is it to share this? Well, I think that's the whole point. I mean, we've uh, these guys are the ones who are doing all the sacrificing for my career, so basically I'm here because of them. For Father of Two, Treat was all about family in 2004, celebrating his lead actor SAG nomination with his son and wife Pam by his side. Motorcycle, 828, Route 30, Dorset, Long Trail Auto with injuries. They do have uh, one patient down on the ground with a leg injury. Vermont State Police say Treat was critically injured when his motorcycle was unable to avoid a car as it turned into a parking lot near this intersection on Route 30. He was airlifted to Albany Medical Center in New York, where he was pronounced dead. Trade's breakout role was in the 1979 hit film Hair. He was best known for playing a small town doctor in the critically acclaimed WB series Everwood. Oh, you're the other doctor. How do you do? I'm Andy Brown. I know who you are. Treat remained close with Everwood co-star Tom Amandez, posting this Instagram photo of the pair in April. The caption, still close after all these years. Just before the crash, Treat posted this serene video near his Vermont home. Treat posted regular photos on Insta, including this throwback of his family, images of his home, including this one from last Sunday, sitting on his porch with a cup of coffee and a hike with Pam, whom he was married to for 35 years. All right, we're going to get this. All right. Other posts included one of Pam in the living room saying he loved the remodeled room and her. Another, a selfie of the pair on Mother's Day. There were also photos of his beloved dog Nash sharing a kiss and cruising in the car and taking Nash for a walk on a day off from shooting Blue Bloods where he played Tom Selleck's former partner. Where are you going? Nowhere in particular. How important is it, I mean, Well, if I win one tonight, I'll tell you. Treat's first time on Access was in 1996. We were with Treat throughout his career, including on the set of his thriller Deep Rising in 1997. Take three, Amar! Where between Dodge and Bullets, he gave us a tour of the set. Right now we're shooting interior, so we've got this blacked out because it's night. It's the magic of Hollywood. <laughs> Treat also reflected on his favorite place, his Vermont home. If you want to do a piece on me, come to the Vermont farm, because that's where I'm at my happiest, and, and that's where my Wife and son and I really have our, our most fun.